Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about SKU aliases, what they are, and how to set them within the Shipping Easy inventory management system. First, what is a SKU alias? Well, in its simplest terms, SKU aliases are multiple SKUs representing the same product. Obviously, you can only have one SKU per product as it's listed on each store platform, but what happens if you use different SKUs for the same product across each of your stores? How does the Shipping Easy Inventory Management System know they are the same product? Well, the answer is the title of this video, SKU Aliases. When we add an alias to a product, we are telling Shipping Easy this product is the same as this SKU and this SKU. And when it sees either SKU, Shipping Easy recognizes all of them as the same product and inventory stock level. If you use different SKUs for the same product across multiple store platforms, this video is for you. So let's talk about the three ways we can add SKU aliases to products. First, if you have the same product listed multiple times with different SKUs, we can merge those products and set one or more of the existing SKUs as an alias. Two, if the product is not yet listed multiple times in your product catalog, we can add aliases manually to each product via the product catalog. And three, we can upload a spreadsheet in CSV format containing aliases for every product that has multiple SKUs. As always, we're going to start with the simplest one, so let's jump in. Go to the product catalog by hovering over inventory on the blue bar and selecting products. We're going to use the merge products button today. But first, we need to find the products we want to merge. The only time you want to merge products is if they are the same product. Not variants of the same product, like multiple sizes of the same shirt. Not almost the same product. I mean when either of these SKUs is sold on your stores, you go and grab the exact same item from your inventory and send it to the customer. If that's the case, then we want to merge them so they can pull from the same stock level. All merging does is make one SKU the master SKU, and the other selected SKUs become aliases. So let's select our two products to merge, and hit the Merge Products button. It asks us to choose the master SKU. Note that this will be the main SKU displayed for this product. Shipping Easy will also use the stock level of the master SKU as the stock level for the newly merged product. And when we hit Submit, the products are combined. And if we check the master product, we see the other SKU listed as an alias right here. So easy. While easy, merging products is also a very handy segue into the next method of adding SKU aliases, which is on a product by product basis. Once we're viewing a product details screen like we are here, just click the Add SKU Alias button up in the top right, and just type in the alternate SKU. You can only add one SKU at a time this way, so don't try and separate multiple SKUs with commas or semicolons or anything, as it will just add one big SKU filled with commas or semicolons. Click the button, add a SKU, and press Submit until they're all accounted for. Super easy to alias a single product. If you have lots of product and lots of SKUs, uploading a CSV might be a better option for you. To do this, we start on the main product catalog page. Since we're adding SKU aliases to existing products, I'm going to assume you already have products in your product catalog. So the easiest thing to do is just download your existing product catalog using the Download Products button here. Shipping Easy will create a CSV for you and send you the download link to your email. If you don't have any products yet, see my video on importing products for the easiest way to populate your product catalog. So the downloaded CSV looks like this. And we really only need two columns today, SKU and alias SKUs. Removing unused columns eliminates the possibility of accidentally changing information like stock levels, so I'm going to use some movie magic here to do a quick cleanup of my CSV file. And done. So all we have to do now is put the SKU we want to alias into the alias SKU column of the primary SKU that represents this product. Just type in the SKU here. And if you want to add more than one at a time, follow the format displayed at the top of the column here. Space, then the pipe symbol, which is usually right above the enter key on your keyboard, followed by a space, and the next SKU. Repeat until all are accounted for. Then, save the file somewhere easy to remember, and go back to the Shipping Easy product catalog. 
Click Upload Products and navigate to your easy to find CSV we just saved and upload it. This takes us to the map field screen. Since we downloaded this file from Shipping Easy, all the mapping is already done for us. If you created your own CSV file, map the titles of the columns on the left with the information on the right. Once everything is mapped, which shouldn't be much because we removed most of the columns, go down to the bottom and hit the continue button. Shipping Easy will then process the information, and when the green ready button lights up, click it, and you'll have one final chance to review the information here before you finish the upload. It looks good to me, so I'm going to hit complete upload, and that's it. You can see the new SKU alias by clicking the product to which an alias was added, and the SKUs are listed here. And if you want to remove one, just click on the details tab and click the X next to the SKU alias to remove it. You are now master on everything SKU alias, dear viewer. To find the support article on this topic, just click the help center in the bottom right and type in SKU alias. Click the second article here that says how to set up SKU aliases. This little box opens it in a new tab. And there you go. Thanks so much for watching, everyone.